Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you late this afternoon, about to go into late afternoon very soon for a marathon studio album review that I did promise you guys I'd do today, and I was delaying it because of a new album that came out uh, for leak, uh, for download I meant to say, that I downloaded this afternoon, and it was that Man With A Mission album review. That you guys hope you guys did enjoy that album review for Breaking Cross the Walls uh, 2 album review. Definitely go check it out if you haven't seen it. This is for Maroon 5's Hands All Over album that I'm going to be reviewing. Their next Marathon Studio album that I'm doing for the last few that I got left to do. I got this one, Overexposed, and Red Pill Blues to do, and that's it. So... I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this 14-track album and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this album review. Now, the extra two songs are Moves Like Jagger and Crazy Little Thing Called Love, acoustic version. And I will mention what I think of those in a few minutes. To get to what I thought of this album, Misery is the first opening track. And that's a pretty good song. It's pretty catchy and groovy. So, I really dig the song for what it's going for. It's got a more uh, interesting vibe to it, and the melody's pretty catchy too, and Adam Levine singing in it actually doesn't sound that bad. So, 5 out of 5 for Misery. Give a Little More was more of a dance funk rock song, or a funk rock song, so it's more of a dance kind of song. Um, don't hate it. I really enjoyed it for what it's going for. The I like the guitar riffs in it. There's not much guitar riffs. It just plays some of the same guitar riff tunes, which that can be a little bit of a problem, but hey, I think the song did what it was going for. So five out of five for Give a Little More. In my opinion, I like it. Stutter is a, another song that I did enjoy. It's got some interesting drum work, and I like how Adam Levine is singing the song some of the time, um, and just the way it's executing, it sounds pretty strong, so yeah, 5 out of 5 for Stutter. There are some lyrics that I don't know if I particularly like, but... For what it's going for, it's not a terrible song. You're in for an interesting song, uh, in my opinion. Uh, Don't Know Nothing was pretty good of a song for what it's going for. I really dig it, so 5 out of 5. I don't know if I have too much complaints about it. The only complaint I have on this album is that there's one song on this album that makes Adam Levine feel like an egotistic asshole in this album, but that's just my opinion. Um, Never Gonna Leave This Bed is a really good song, and I really enjoyed this. I think Adam Levine got a little too egotistic with this album. His ego set in with this album, and some of his newer stuff, so he got a little overexposed. And there's an album called Overexposed by the band Maroon 5, so yeah, that really explains how I think they start to go a little mainstream with this album, sort of. So then I'll tell you why that is, because there's a certain song on this album in the bonus track for the reissue version that you guys have heard of so many times. <laughs> it's a popular song, but... Yeah, uh, Never Gonna Leave This Bed, I really dig the song, I like the drum work, and the guitar work's pretty nice, and Adam Levine's vocals, I'll give him credit where it's due, it's pretty good, so 5 out of 5. I Can't Lie was a pretty strong track, um, pretty groovy too, and it's, it's a more mainstream song, but mainstream rock pop kind of thing, but it's still definitely is a good song so five out of five hands all over is my least favorite i don't know if i like some of the way the tone of the song is in my opinion i just find it to be a dismissive track and forgettable 
but it's something at least, so I'll give it a 4.5 out of 5. How was a pretty good track, really enjoyed that song, and I'll give that a 5 out of 5. I like Adam Levine's vocals, and the chorus sounds pretty good. Um, it builds up with the chorus, but still, pretty strong track, so 5 out of 5. Get back in my life, get back in my life, I meant to say. Um, that was a pretty good song, and so was Just a Feelin'. Just a Feelin' was a very mellow song, mellow, melodic, rock, pop kind of song. Uh, but it was uh, pretty interesting of a track, so... Get Back In My Life is getting a 5 out of 5, and so is Just a Feeling. I really enjoyed that one, too. Um, Runaway was pretty good. That's where we get to the end of the album, and I have some critiques about the end of the album. Um, Runaway is a pretty good song. I'll give it a 5 out of 5. Out of Goodbyes is my least favorite. It, it just was there to end the album. It's a solid ending for the regular edition for the album, but I think it's not a bad song, and I just have some critiques about it with how the singing is, and that Lady Antebellum's in the song, and I'm like, mm, I'm not a huge fan of them, but hey, they did alright, so 4.5 out of 5 for Out of Goodbyes. Moves Like Jagger is the least favorite, the weakest song. It is sort of annoying, and it brings out Adam Levine's ego in this song. And that's what I don't like. It, I even saw the looks for the bandmates in the music video, and I'm like, they're looking like they're not impressed with this track. <laughs> so I could probably understand why, because Adam Levine's kind of taking over all of it, and the d electronics in this whole song is taking over it. And give me a moment, guys. I gotta pause the video. Sorry, guys. Had to pause the video. My mom was calling me for a second. I gotta run some errands in a little bit. Like, probably about 5 o'clock at my time. But, yeah. Um, moves Like Jagger just had Adam's ego brought out. And the bandmates, I don't think, were liking that. And Some of the bandmates that just want to have drums and guitar in it. And there is some guitar riffs in it, but this is where Maroon 5 starts to get too mainstream, and this is where they start getting to that point where they're going to sell out. Uh, so Moves Like Jagger, I think it's average, but it's not the best song, so 3.5 out of 5. Crazy Little Thing Called Love acoustic version is pretty nice, so I'll give it a 5 out of 5. Overall, production, mixing, and execution, I think Hands All Over album was a average album. It's not the worst, it's just average for what it is. I know a lot of people think Moves Like Jagger is probably the best thing they've heard. It's not really the best thing I've heard. Um, I've heard better uh, with Maroon 5. I, I like their older stuff up to V. After V, I'm kind of done. I will not review any Maroon 5. I'll probably just be dismissive of Maroon 5 after that. Be like, uh, they're not that great anymore. They're kind of sellouts. But, because they sold out to the pop genre. And that's where I have my critiques about their newer stuff. And I will get to that in one of my videos that I'm going to premiere tomorrow night. Uh, not tomorrow night, but it's going to premiere on the 28th. But first score for me... I'm giving Hands All Over a 7.5 out of 10, like I said. It's an average album, not the best album, but it's something to get us through for their discography. It just moves like Jagger was my very least favorite song. Uh, and there was a lot of graphical, not graphical scenes, but it felt like the video was moving too fast-paced, and there was like epileptic uh, scenes in the video that make you feel like you're going to have an epileptic seizure or something. I don't know. The video was moving pretty fast for the speed it was going for. But just the music video itself, the choreography and the cinematography of it, 
But still, 7.5 out of 10 for Maroon 5 hands all over. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of this lengthy review for Maroon 5 hands all over album if you've heard it. And if you enjoyed this album review I made for you guys for the third album of the five that I got left to review for Maroon 5's discography, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel support the channel keep in mind it's just my opinion at the end of the day and it's all about respecting one's opinion and if people don't respect one's opinion then that's their problem i guess uh but i'm just expressing my own take on this and there's gonna be some people that are gonna like it and some people that are not gonna like it but i have my own critiques about their newer stuff from the 2010s uh, up to the 2020s. Jordy is probably the worst of it all. Even though I know they lost their uh, producer or something, Jordy something, I don't remember his last name. Uh, but yeah, it's just. Yeah. It's just sad that they lost him, their producer or something like that. I don't know for sure. But still, it's just the album was not executing very well for Jordy. It was pretty much a dumpster fire. But that's just my opinion, at least. Um, I will return to you for more videos probably tonight or tomorrow. Haven't decided yet. I'm probably going to get some premiere videos done tonight if I can. And I did actually hear the new Memphis Mayfire remade in Misery album. I just don't want to review it yet. Uh, I just wanted to tell you guys that it leaked online last night. Uh, but anyways, stay safe. Take care, guys. Hope you enjoyed this lengthy review for Maroon 5 Hands All Over album. And as always, I will see you in my next review.